Hey World Changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math Freebie of the Week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week we'll practice a specific question type. These videos, they're short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And if you know that you need help with a specific skill, at the end of this video I will point you in the direction of where you can access tons of videos to help make math fun, make it click, and and make it stick. The focus for this week is drum roll. Matching item. Let's not waste any more time. No, no, let's get to it. Hey, let me teach you. All right, fifth grade, here is your problem for this week. So go ahead and pause the video on your own. And then when you're ready, come on back and let's check your work. Welcome back, fifth grade. Okay, let's go ahead and read this one. It says to determine whether each equation is true or false. And equations, they have equal signs. That's why they're called equations. You see those equal signs right here? And when we're determining if they're true or false, we need to look at the left side and the right side and see if they are equal or the same value on each side. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first one. Oh, I see various operations going on. Do you see what I'm seeing? I'm seeing multiplication, I'm seeing division, I'm seeing addition, subtraction, not just for the first problem, but in all of them. So what I'm gonna jot down over here is the order of operations. So parentheses, exponents, which you're not really gonna see Multiplication and division going from left to right. They're on the same level. Addition and subtraction looking from and solving from left to right when we notice those two. So we have half of 8 tenths times 100. Right here, this is actually multiplication that is occurring between those two. Just so you know, it's half being multiplied by what is in parentheses. For this one, we need to go ahead and solve what's in parentheses first on the left side. So I'm gonna do that right here. I'm going to put a multiplication sign just to keep it going. Okay, so let's solve this first. Well, 8 tenths times 100. 100 is a power of 10, meaning that we can just move that digit of eight, that's in the tenths place, over two places. So if I'm doing that, the eight would be in not the ones place, but the tens place, so that would be 80. 8 tenths times 100 is 80. And what we need to do is drop this down so we have half of 80 on this side. What is half of 80? 40, right? If we cut 80 in half, we would get 40 on each side. 40 and 40 equals 80, so half of 80 equals 40. All right, cool, so we have a value of 40 on the left side. And now over here on the right side, we have 100 divided by five times two. We have division and we have multiplication. They're on the same level. So what we need to do is solve it going from left to right. So as we read it, left to right, division is the very first operation that occurs. So what is 100 divided by five? 20. Okay, bring down the rest. And what is 20 times two? It's 40. So we had a value of 40 on the right and a value of 40 on the left. So are those two values equal? Yes, which means we need to select true or false. True. So we just scan over in the first row and select true. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just move this work over just a little bit make room for the next one. Okay, so here we have three times in parentheses 45 divided by nine plus eight, oops, I forgot the parentheses right there, equals three times 45 divided by nine plus eight. Okay, let's solve the left side first. So we have parentheses, let's solve what's in there first. What's 45 divided by nine? Five. Bring everything else down. All right, now we have multiplication and addition. Which one comes next? Multiplication. So three times five equals what? 15. 15 plus eight is left. What is 15 plus eight? 
23. So on this side, we have a value of 23. Let's move over to the other side, to the right side. So we have multiplication, division, and addition. Well, we have multiplication and division on the same level right there. Addition will come last. Which one is showing up first though? Three times 45 is showing up first. So if I do that over here, that would be 135. Bring down the rest, divided by nine plus eight. Okay, next we have division and addition. Which operation comes next? Division, all right, 135 divided by nine. Let me pause and come over here real quick. And when I divide that out, I get a total of 15. So we have 15 plus eight. Look at that. What is 15 plus eight? 15 plus eight is 23. So is 23 equal to 23? It is, let's mark true. All right, and then for the last one, we have 30 minus eight and 233,000. On the left side, Equal is it equal to 40 minus 28 and 233 thousandths? Okay, I'm gonna use estimation real quick just to make this just, just to see if I can knock these out. Eight and 233 thousandths is if I round that, it's about eight when I'm thinking of it, right? And then 28 and 233 thousandths is about 28. So now let me come up here if I'm subtracting 30 minus eight, that equals 22, okay? And then 40 minus 28, that equals 12. Are those even at all close? No, so because of that, without even, I mean, I could go ahead and subtract these decimals, and if you did, that is great. But you can also use estimation to just quickly see, do I even need to bother subtracting them because I've got about 22 on the left side and about 12 on the right side. Therefore, it is false, okay? All right, fifth grade, that was a lot. Notice the journey that we have shown here on paper. It's really important to record it out and not do it all in your head. Show your journey. That way, if you make mistakes, you can quickly go back and try to figure out where that mistake is located. So make sure that you pause the video, copy down any notes that you still need to, and then let's close out this video lesson. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the link somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good it's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, or more confident with something, you have got to dedicate time, intentional time, to practice. And that means throwing down your very best effort every time so you can learn and grow. You know that I believe in you, and I will see you next time, world changers.